I'm getting daft. You're getting there. It's, I'm getting daft for me to die. Oh, well, and where are you going to go after that? To the Lord. To the oh, Lord. Oh, definitely right. to the God. Definitely because I trusted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Hi, everyone. This is my mom, Ruth, and I'm here visiting her. And today I'm going to read my book that I wrote. My mom used to teach Sunday school for years and years, didn't you? What grade did you teach Sunday school? Fourth. Fourth grade for a long time, didn't a you? A long time, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At ch what, oh, church, yes. what church did you teach Sunday school? At First Baptist, that's right. Mm -hmm. So this would be a story that you've taught children a lot, wouldn't uh -huh. it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who created everything? A Genesis storyteller. By Yes, it's got my name on it. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a oh, look. Dog, it's Snuffy. It looks like our dog Snuffy. Nice Snuffy. Yes. Yeah. This is our family dog looked exactly like this. And that's why I put him in the book. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever wondered how everything came to be? The earth, the sky, the sun, the animals, the beautiful flowers. And what about people? It's a very big question, isn't it? We're going to search for the answer from an ancient book. Do you have any idea which book has the answer to our very big question? No, Genesis. Genesis, my mom knows that. Oh. Yes, the book of Genesis, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening in this picture? You can see that they are reading from the very beginning of the Bible in a book named Genesis. Genesis. That's right, which means beginning. Beginning, that is. This is where we'll find the answer to our very big question. Are you ready to listen and hear how everything came to be? Let's see. Oh, Look at that. The moon. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The world was empty and covered by dark, deep waters. But God's spirit was hovering over the waters. That's good. <laughs> then God said, come light. And there was light. And God separated the light from the dark. And he called the light day. day and he called the dark night. night. God looked at what he created and said, This is good. This is good. The next day, God said, Let there be a dome. I'll call it sky. It will separate the waters above from the waters below. And that's what happened. God looked at what he created and said, This is good. This is good. I look at me. It's good. It is. Very, very much so. The next day, God said, Waters of the earth come together over here. Your name is ocean. And over here, where it is dry, your name is land. Land grow up all kinds of plants, including fruit, trees, and grain. And that's what happened. The land produced all kinds of vegetation. God looked at what he created and said, This is good. This is good. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. On the next day, God said, Come, sun, moon, and stars. And there came the sun, the moon, and the stars. You will bring light to the earth to mark out the days, seasons, and years. Sun, you will govern the day. Moon and stars, you will govern the night. And it happened. God placed the sun, moon, and stars in the sky, and they brought light to the earth marking out the days, the seasons, and years. God looked at what he created and said, This is good. There you go. On the next day, God said, Come fish, come birds. And it happened. The oceans were filled with big fish and little fish. The sky was filled with big birds and little birds. 
God looked at what he created and said, This is good. This is good. If I never got made this good, yes, exactly. Oh, and the cats and the dogs. <laughs> the cats and the dogs. There we go. Snuffy. Oh, <laughs> yes, Snuffy was our family dog. And what about our cat? We had lots of cats, didn't we? Uh huh. Do you remember any of our cats? Frisky, I think, was yeah, the name uh -huh. of one of our cats. Uh -huh. Yeah. The next day, God said, Land, bring forth all kinds of animals tame animals, wild animals, reptiles, and insects. And that's what happened. God made tame animals, wild animals, reptiles, and insects. God looked at what he created and said, It is good. It's, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, well, on that same day, God said, Now let us make humans. Let's make them like us. Hello. Oh, Nikki's here. Who? Nikki. It's time Ooh. for physiotherapy. Hey, uh, yeah. hiding in the corner. Yes, we are. Yeah, I'm reading this book here. Yes. yes. Yeah. So we might take a little break. Yeah. And go and see Nikki and do exercises. And then we'll finish reading my book. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh, you wrote the book. I did. I wrote this book. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I'm showing my mom my new book that I just published. Oh, cool. Look to be the daddy child in the sky. I did. Uh, I can say, yes, I know. Cut my yeah. name. Now we yeah. just had a good exercise session, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, you did very well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm good with exercise. Yeah, she no is problem. Very good. Yeah. So we'll get back to where we were. I think we were on day six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think this is where we were. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> As if it's not a little baby. That's right. We got the pram uh -huh. for the baby. Here we go. On that same day, God said, no Now let later. us make humans. What? Humans. Humans. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's the make them like us. That is the most important. That's right. The most important. <laughs> Let's it's make them like us. We will let them rule the creatures of the ocean and the sky. We will let them rule the tame animals, the wild animals, the reptiles, and insects. So God created humans to be like himself. himself. He made male, male and female. female. God, God blessed them and, and said, Have lots of children, fill the earth with people, and look after the whole earth. I have given you everything you need for life. And God looked at all he had created and said, all of this is very good. Very good. Very good. Well done. Good reading there. Fantastic. Now, by the seventh day, God had finished his work creating the heavens and the earth and everything in them. Then God said, day seven will be a special day because this is the day that I rested from all my work. So that's how God created the, the heavens, heavens and the earth. earth. And, and throughout history, millions and millions of people, people believe this Bible, Bible story provides, provides the answer to our very, very big question. question. Who created everything? God. Yes, that's exactly right. He did, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. And here's a little prayer. And this little prayer was a plaque that hung in our house uh -huh. all through my life in our home in Florida. Uh -huh. And it had this little poem, prayer poem. And so I put it in our book. Thank you, God, for the world so sweet. Thank you, God, for the food we eat. 
Thank you, God, for the books that sing. And thank you, God, for everything. Amen. Amen. I had it, had it uh, I had read this before. Yes, it was hanging on our wall uh, over the Florida room door. Uh, 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 and that mind. was where, remember we had that plaque? Yeah. That's yeah. where it, it, it hung my whole life growing up in Orlando. Yeah. 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 And then I think you might know this song. This, this little, little light of mine. This little light of mine. I gotta let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. That I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. You remember that song? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And she's got the little light there. That's right. And you would have probably sang that with your Sunday school class. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, over the years. And then at the very back of the book, we have a picture of who's that? A few. Yeah, here I am. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, and it talks about where I live, and I live. I'm a mother of four and lives in Brisbane, Australia. It tells people what I do in Australia. What did you? Yeah, it tells people she about did. me. Made some some books as well now. You did. I've written. Yeah, this book I've written. So there you go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. Do you like that? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah thanks uh-huh. for helping me read it today. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, we'll be able to show some friends. So, yeah, that my mom liked it. Yeah, uh-huh. especially if I'm a seasoned Sunday school teacher. Yeah, right now I'm not teaching so now. <laughs> not right now. Uh-huh. Because I uh, have other things to do. Yeah, that's right. Do you remember how old you are now? Oh, yeah, yeah, indeed. Yep, she's going to be 88 this month. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm getting there. You're getting there. It, I'm getting there to, for me to die. <laughs> well, and where are you going to go after that? To the Lord. To the oh, Lord. That's definitely right. to the God. Definitely, because I trusted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. That's right. My mother is a very much a soul winner, and she was never afraid to share the gospel, were you? No, not at all. Yeah, she was always ready to share the good news of Jesus with everyone she meets. We'll say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. And give me a smile. (laughs) Just looking there. Bye. I'll see you again someday.